DNA is deoxyribonucleic acid that is located in the nuclei of cells which make up the human body. DNA research has advanced by leaps and bounds and found use in growing areas of disciplines and application. The background of this project is the detection of disease at an early stage, which is one of the biggest challenges in medicine. We meet some of the researchers working on this area. Point mutation in genomic DNA can be used as a marker for the early detection of critical diseases. In tumor suppressor BRCA1 gene, several point mutations have been discovered to have a significant role in promoting cancer. The abnormality of BRCA1 gene due to this point mutation gives up to 80% risk of developing breast cancer. The classical method for DNA mutation detection is by polymerase chain reaction and electrophoresis. However, we are attempting to detect using nanobiosensors, which not only is a one-for-all detection system, but also simpler, quicker, and more sensitive in detecting DNA mutation. Our nanobiosensor consists of a specific sequence of single-stranded mutated uh, BRCA1 DNA immobilized on zinc oxide nanowires that acts like pillar, sustaining the SSNA on whole electrode. This hybridization process produces current observed through a, a specific uh, electrochemical technique and this uh, requires a dedicated high-end treatment. This is the problem statement. Development of sensing layers require high-end equipment to allow measurement to take place. This can be costly and a hindrance to the research and eventually on-site application when nanobiosensing reaches maturity for deployment. The undergraduate students of group NY120 from different disciplines of science are working together in this regard. They propose an interfacing circuit to existing electronic measurement instrumentation to allow DNA mutation detection using nanobiosensors. We have designed a readout interfacing circuit that allows the detection of BRCA1 gene mutation matching using nanobiosensors. This readout circuitry is constructed with a microcontroller and standard electronic components. It allows electro-analytical measurement technique for a tree electrode sensing system. If you have the sensors, the sensing membrane and the samples to test, all you need is an existing set of standard electronic laboratory measuring equipment such as this key size modular instrument and this module that we have designed. We use a tree electrode electrochemical system. The working electrode is gold plate with zinc oxide nanowires. DNA with no mutation is then immobilized onto the working electrode. This DNA is called the probe. The external DNA to be tested is then hybridized onto the working electrode. This DNA is called the target. If the probe matches the target, there will be a current peak detected by the measurement system. The circuit employs several configurations of operational amplifiers. The circuit is also able to detect low microampere region. It can detect small current changes resulting from the redox reaction at the electrodes. Apart from that, it is also a medium for biasing the electrode as controlled by a microcontroller based on differential pulse photometry. We dip the electrode in a solution containing BRCA1 mutation. The electrochemical reaction at the electrodes are detected as current output by the circuit and displayed at the key site B interface. This shows a peak indicating DNA matching. BRCA1 DNA matching indicates that the person may develop breast cancer in the future. What the interfacing circuit does is that it helps to encourage more research activities by allowing many others join the research area. More scientists can contribute to DNA biosensing research without having to pay too much for an extra high-end specialized equipment. And when the DNA biosensors are ready to be adopted widely, the convenience of this readout circuitry will ease deployment of the sensor.